One particular admirer of Siddhartha was the beautiful courtesan Amra Pali. She often invited him to stay in her house and to teach in her gardens. It was in these gardens that Siddhartha entered into many of his most famous dialogues. Here he met the fire worshippers. The day had been biting cold, and the wind was often fierce, making the leaves whistle and howl. Agni was frustrated and angry after a hard day's work. His wife was preparing the meal, cooking over the fire, watched by their children. He had been drinking. He tripped and cursed, and his temper boiled over. He kicked out at the fire, and sparks flew. Some burning logs set fire to the bits of furniture. Agni's wife begged him to be careful. He lashed out, hitting her below the left eye, causing a swift purple bruise to swell up. His son screamed. The strong wind whipped up the flames, and soon the house was on fire. that mine own tears do scald like molten lead. The sun burns. Its energy fuels the earth. One of the most powerful forces we know is the light and heat of the sun. Naturally, people have always been fascinated by the power of fire. At Siddhartha's time, many religious ceremonies were based on fire. <laughs> 